at least 15 reps. He must have found it. Five, come on, keep going. Six. Eight. Strong. Yeah, oh, you got 20 in there. You got 20 in there. Come on, one. Get him up, no matter what. No matter what. Two. Three. Keep going. Keep going. Four. And again, five. Come on, don't stop. Got five more. Five? Come on, five more. Come on. That's it. One. Keep going. Two. Come on, three more. Last three. One. Come on. Come on, come on, get it, get it up, get it up. One more. Last one. Good. Good set. That's how it's done. Oh, fuck my pull. life. Sorry, pull. Finished. Let's see the pump. Let's see the pump. Yeah. What's up, guys? Liam and Sai here. Welcome back to the channel, Sai. Welcome you back. Doing? It's good to be back. 2022. We're going to smash it. We're filming some content for UFB and obviously this video that you're watching right now and, you, and uh, your own personal channel yeah. as well. Link in the description box, be sure to check them out if you have not already. So today, you guys see the title, we're going to be talking a little bit about my diet. It's not a full day of eating, it's not a what I eat in a day, it's the kind of thing that I'm going to be doing. And so I, I think it's fair to say you have a fair amount of expertise when it comes to that kind of thing, right? So, well, a diet is like half, you've got to, it's half, train, half the training, it's half, half the sort of puzzle. Yeah. So. With me, like I said to Liam earlier, if I wasn't to eat properly, I wouldn't train, so they go hand in hand. I think it's, um, we can both pretty solidly agree that the training for me is not really an issue, but the diet on, on certain occasions could, could definitely use some work. Yeah, so, the training, you're here and you enjoy the training, it's something yeah. you love, so you're going to do it no matter what. Exactly, yeah. So you're going to sort of find, create a habit which is going to complement your training with the diet. Yeah. And just to, to start off small, just do one, add one meal, which is not eating, what are you eating? And that'll make a big impact. So we're gonna get into it today. Big pool session going down. Drop this video a big like. pool session. Comment, comment down this. below. I'll be looking like that by next week, don't you worry, don't you worry. <laughs> Let's get into it. Right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Born ready. Born ready. Let's go. You got him in it. Got yeah, 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 we're all in it. So joining us today, ladies and gentlemen, we have your boy Fresco. Back again. You've been on the channel a few times, Fresco. Say couple, hello. A couple times. Hello, guys. And we have Sai. Mm -hmm. Well, you've already seen in the intro. But anyway, we're going to be talking about my diet because a lot of you guys ask um, quite a lot. It's probably one of my most asked questions, especially since the new year, what I actually eat on a daily basis. My diet lately has been... Well, sum up, sum up in a word, Sai. Shit. Not great. Yeah, Not shit. Great. Um, pretty no. shit. It's now... 4 p.m. and I have had. What do you need to answer that? Like, answer that. <laughs> I'm just filming a moment. Just for moment. Cool. It's four o'clock and I have had a muffin and well, this a protein shake with a bit of banana in it. Um, so I think it's fair to say that my diet needs a little bit of work, and that is something that I'm going to definitely work on because it's kind of pointless me saying that I want to put on a bit of muscle and then not eating until 4 p.m. every single day. So. Basically, we've got a couple of people who have a little bit more experience to expand upon maybe something that, or some things that I can do oh, to, to help to improve. Hmm. Hit me with it. But ultimately, we eat to fuel your bodies, and if you're not going to be putting sufficient fuel into your body, then your workouts, general life will be compromised. You're not going to have energy. You need obviously carbs to fuel your workouts, carbs to. Um, general for energy to walk around and function and if you're not providing sufficient energy then obviously they'll come to a point in your workout where you will sort of flag pretty quickly um, if you haven't got any store carbohydrates so I always like I said before I always eat to fuel my workout so um, at least an hour before I train I always have roughly the guide is to say one gram of carbs per kilo of body weight. So if you have 90 grams, so 90 kilos, 90 grams of carbs. And for protein, you should halve that. So 0.5 grams of protein per kilo of body weight. So carbs, so protein, halve it. So um, and depending how long you leave to work out. So um, try and have something that's quite easy to digest. Some rice, sort of white fish, chicken. Uh, stay away from the fats. Obviously, if you're having a big break, so if you're having breakfast, so 
say nine o'clock not eating till one then probably have some higher fats so you've got that sustained energy but always fuel your workouts with adequate protein and carbs and straight after you need to sort of replenish glycogen replenish sort of uh, the carbs that you burnt off and you need that anabolic environment via protein so you need to fuel your workouts then have a post-workout meal shake whatever it is then after that every couple hours feed your body with more proteins good fats it's as simple as that if you don't eat you're not going to have great workouts and you're not going to grow so it's something that the fresco you had to work on a little bit yourself last year so yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. remember the, the whole prep thing on the UFB pages and that well this, this is him this is the guy right <laughs> so do you want to talk a little bit about maybe the changes that you made when you started like yeah maybe yeah, yeah, what, so, you, you, what your diet was prior to so yeah so I mean prior to the competition it was more like um, more like intermittent fasting mm -hmm. so like that's I'm, why it's so lean I mean yes and no like um, no, I'd, yes. I'd wake up, you know, and then I wouldn't eat until like after my workout and like after uni and I would have like a big meal at the end of the day and then just snack on within like that 10 to 8 hour period. Mm -hmm. But um, what I realized is going on a diet, um, your body is very adaptive. So if your body thinks it's starving, so like if you're not eating for 12 hours, um, whatever you do eat, your body's trying to store it as fat because it's like, when am I going to get the next meal? Survival mode, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, um, and then even not, I think when I went on the diet, I wasn't even in a deficit. No, I Maybe I was in a surplus. You was talking so little. I think I was in a surplus, yeah. but the fact that like, but like I was just eating every two hours. Probably your output was great because you did cardio, which you never did before. Yeah, the fasted cardio. Yeah, in the morning, but still, like just, just like your the calories probably stay the same, but your composition changed. You probably didn't have enough protein before, not enough quality fats. Uh, no, I was eating. I was hitting my like protein, yeah. like macros. What is it like per pound of body you're weight? Probably hitting it in one go, rather than yeah. spacing it out. Yeah. Really so, the day. so a couple things I'll say is like. What I've learned is your body has a limit it can absorb in one, like in a period of time. So if I'm eating all my proteins in one meal, how much of that am I actually gonna absorb? So splitting your meals up into like five, six meals, then you're kind of like reaching the efficiency of like your body's absorption. Yeah. And there's also times of the day where your body can absorb more protein, like after training, breakfast time, I think you can absorb create that environment to sort of yeah that's stimulus um that's one thing i definitely need to work on is breakfast yeah yeah, yeah. Like, i had to eat breakfast I, yeah because but see like today yeah, yeah, yeah. i haven't yeah, yeah, yeah and like yesterday i didn't and it's like because i just get up i have this really weird like systematic like i like to think it's very disciplined in the sense where i get up and i'm at my laptop by nine o'clock every single morning like i would be at an office job but what time do you wake up i then sometimes i roll out of bed and tend to okay. and just sit in my laptop at at night. So how long but does it take to make a shake? Well, it takes 30 seconds, but this is the thing, it's like... <laughs> it's not 30 what, seconds? <laughs> this is kind of what we're, we're trying to yeah, yeah. sort out for me, is me forming those habits, because yeah. the habit for me at the minute is getting up and just sitting on my laptop. That's the thing that I force myself to do, regardless of how fucked right, I do, do you Do you have any drink before you go to your laptop? Oh, you? water. I get up yeah, and yeah, chug yeah, some yeah. water, but like I wouldn't have any calories. Yeah. I wouldn't get up and have like a bowl of ice. So it doesn't really make any difference or time if you were to grab like a snack, like an apple or some fruit, yeah. a shake, you can have that while you're doing your computer work. Yeah. That's quite I used just, to the do. The thing is it? I tend to not get hungry and I just work. I'm like, right, I've got up to work and I start working. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to lunchtime and I'm like, shit, I've got to go to the gym and then all of a sudden I'm here and I have to train and then it's like four PM like it is right now and this is all I've had. And it's like all of a sudden I'm playing catch up and it's just not ideal. So it's something that I want to, well, do, do you sound. Do you cook? Yeah. You cook like you meal prep? No. Nah. Honestly, like sometimes, like when I was on, I still do it sometimes. Like before I go to bed, like I literally have my oats in a bowl, mm -hmm. you know? So I wake up, all I need to do is pour milk, put it in the microwave, it was like two, three minutes. Chop a banana and like I'm Gucci. Sometimes you know? you've got to make things as easy as convenient as possible. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Easy these, you're gonna. There's more likely you're gonna stick to it. 100%. You're gonna prepare like a full meal. Then it's I can't be asked. I'll just do something else. See, that's the thing. I like cooking, but it's like I need it's the to. Time. It's, it's time. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna make something that's gonna be quick, easy to um, convenient, and obviously nutritious to your body. Uh, it's like um, 
like there are a lot of things like cooking nowadays is super easy like if you get a rice cooker like yeah. you know again like i wake up in the morning like my oats getting ready i put all my rice for today in the rice cooker mm. and then it's like all my carbs for today all my proteins cooked like on the weekend so mm. i have my chicken my beef mm. you know so you're gonna spend a couple hours on the weekend to prep for the whole week then it's there then there's no sort of um you have to like mess about like cooking a whole meal from scratch mm. and i found that like being on like the meal prep uh, like even now just knowing what i'm gonna eat i'm saving a lot of money yeah you know instead yeah. of like Oh shit, I have to like think about what I need to says, do. Yeah, it comes with a meal deal every right. day. Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm not on the, I'm not on the, like, you know, I'm not on the prep life anymore. Like, I'm still having you know, to still, still save you money. 100%, yeah. you know, you're not buying random stuff. It's the fact that you, you know, then get to Tesco Express and you spend six quid and you spend seven quid. And if you do that all of a sudden, like, every day, day, every day. And also, yeah. like, what you get from Tesco is not even great quality food. You get a sandwich, you get a bag of crisps, like yeah. an energy drink. It's not going to be like yeah. that great for your bodybuilding, you know, gains. Yeah. You know, a hundred percent depends what you want to do. Like even being on prep, like I wasn't pushing my squat or like my bench, but my deadlift was going up mm. while I was getting leaner. Mm. You know, there was a point where like and you probably gained more muscle. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like like the first four weeks, I was getting more shredded and looking bigger like my weight wasn't changing like i wake up every morning i was worried because i was talking to sam like the weight's not coming down but i'm looking in the mirror and taking pictures like mm. there was more definition you know you can see a lot more or well, scale is any one indication of fat loss you know, if you do your measurements obviously scale, um obviously um pictures don't just use scales because sometimes you can lose body fat and the scales won't change if you obviously can gain muscle at the same time yeah, 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 just just have something written down. You know, I think five to six meals a day is. is I would say what he's currently eat. doing. If you're only eating, say, averaging two, two meals, meals a day, meals a day. just start on yeah. one extra meal because going from two to six meals is quite a big jump. Yeah. So just put one meal when you can at the beginning. I would definitely say breakfast or uh, pre-training. That's where you'll benefit the most. The most. Yeah, and it's just some really fit, simple like a banana shake. An apple, a bagel, something like you don't even have to cook, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Something simple, and you'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes. Yeah. I mean, I had, big, I had a shake, banana, um, I was an hour before I trained, an hour before I trained, and I felt like I could train again. So uh, it does make a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. I know Lee was flagging so, 70 to uh, 20 hours. Towards, towards the end, yeah. though, I was definitely flagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I want you guys personally, and you guys watching as well to do is hold me personally accountable um, for doing that this year. I want to show you guys in videos and I want you guys to see the physical results from it as well. I want to see, we want to see Liam every time he wakes up to post on his Instagram <laughs> that's going to be eating some sort of protein, whether it's my protein or your protein or his protein, <laughs> uh, fruit, just so he's accountable to you, the audience, the subscribers, yeah? Is that, you're gonna do that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So if this is something that you guys would like to see us do yes. a little bit more of, then let us know in the comment section down below. Maybe we can go food shopping or something like yes. that at some stage. Uh, that's something we've discussed. So any ideas you have, let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for joining in, lads. Thank you, and, uh, pleasure. Drop the video a like, comment down below. All the best. Subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you Thanks in the next one. One take, smashed it, lads. Woo! Let's fucking go. <laughs>